Today's how to build is on na 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 Batman. I received over 180 comments requesting to build Batman, and with the imminent release of the Lego Batman movie, I thought, let's build us a giant Batman. So this model is basically the Lego Batman minifigure, but at three times the size. Hey Brick fans, before we get into the building instructions, I've got a few updates. If you want to skip ahead to the instructions, there's a link to do so in the video description. So first things first, I'm super excited for the Lego Batman movie. Uh, it's releasing today or tomorrow here in the United States and elsewhere around the world. Uh, some places have to wait like a couple of months, sorry Australia, I think. To celebrate the release of the Lego Batman movie, in addition to this how to build, I've also got a couple other fun events coming up. So I'm going to be doing an Ask Me Anything or AMA on Reddit on Monday, February 13th with David Pagano, my co-author of the Lego animation book. And we'll be taking all of your questions about literally anything, but you know, specifically Lego animation. Batman movie type topics. We'll also be doing a live stream on the Paganomation YouTube channel on Sunday, February 19th at 1 p.m. where we'll discuss all of our in-depth thoughts on the Lego Batman movie, spoilers and all. Um, so those are two fun digital events coming up if you want to talk about Lego animation, Lego Batman, or just ask me random questions. Another exciting piece of news for Brick 101 fans is that I've partnered with the reading app Epic um, to put a selection of how to build videos ad free on their platform. Um, so if you're not familiar with it, Epic is a reading app which allows kids to uh, read a lot of ebooks for a monthly subscription fee. It's also available for free uh, to all elementary schools in the United States and Canada. So a lot of you might have this in your school already. Uh, so if you're in school and wish you could watch YouTube, but you can't, but you can get onto Epic, you can see some Brick 101 how to build videos there on Epic. So as many of you may know, I've been doing a bunch of in-person events to celebrate the release of the Lego Animation book, and I just confirmed a few more for the coming months that I wanted to let you all know about. Um, so in April, I will be doing some events around Philadelphia. So on April 19th, I will be in my hometown of Doylestown, Pennsylvania at the Doylestown Bookshop uh, doing an event there. And then the following four days, April 20th through 23rd, I will be at Philly Brookfest Live. This is a big Lego fan convention. I'll be doing a Lego animation workshop. I'll be selling and signing the book. I'll have some of my creations on display. I'll be giving a talk. So lots of fun, cool stuff if you can make it out to Philly Brickfest. And then in June, from June 14th to 18th, I'll be here at Brickworld Chicago, which is another huge Lego fan event. David and I will be running a film festival. We'll both be here selling and signing the book. That's one of the only times you'll be able to get both of our signatures. Uh, and uh, we'll also be doing a Lego animation workshop, showing off a lot of creations from the Magic Picnic, Little Guys in Space, and lots of cool stuff like that. So that's a whole bunch of events coming up. I may have more after that. I haven't planned them out yet. But when I do, you can see all of the event information at brick101.com slash events. Okay. Now, let's get to building Batman. Okay, so here are the pieces we're gonna to use to build the core of Batman's head. Start off with one of these four by four round plates in black. If you don't have one of these round plates, you could do a two by four and two one by twos on the side in the same basic shape. Now we're gonna put some jumper plates here. On the back, we're gonna do some macaroni uh, bricks, as I like to call them. If you don't have those, you could just put uh, two cylinder bricks there. I'm going to put a cylinder brick here, macaroni, cylinder. I know black is hard to see on uh, camera sometimes, so I'll tilt this a couple different ways so you can see all the connections. Take some 1 by 2 plates in black, connect around there. Then for his mouth, we'll do a tan 1x2, a white 1x2 plate, and a tan 1x2 tile. That fits on the jumper plates, so that's like where his mask is showing a little bit of his mouth. And you could do different brick-built mouths here. I thought this was a good kind of neutral expression, but you can play around with that if you want Batman to look uh, angry or scared or something. 
Next level, we'll do another four by four round plate. Tighten that on. Then we'll do some macaroni bricks leading up. Then across the top here, we're gonna do one by four, one by two. Next layer, corner plates. Though you could use something different for those two layers if you don't have those exact pieces. And we'll do a one by two here. Some cheese slopes up the back. And one by one tile on each side. And now here's the pieces you'll need to build Batman's eyes and nose. So some jumper plates again, going this way. Then this is a key piece here. This is a corner panel. I don't know if you can see it. It's a kind of a one by one brick, but like hollow and only a corner. So put two of those. Now in the center here, one by one brick with stud on one side. On the front, uh, I just put a one by one brick there. I have a cylinder brick, size, color, doesn't really matter. It'll be mostly covered up. Uh, for the nose, we're gonna take one by two curvy downward slope and a one by one plate. Connect those together and put that on the front so he's got his nose sticking out over his mouth now. Okay, here comes the tricky part. So for the eyes, those are gonna be two stacks of one by one plates in white. Center each of those in a jumper plate, which means you need a new style jumper plate um, where the center is open like that. Alternatively, you could use a round one by one with a hole in it if you need to center it on an old style jumper plate. Then take two corner plates so that they connect together. Uh, well, they don't connect connect to make like a two by three area. Then to connect it, uh, do some jumper plates, not jumper plates. It's a one by two cheese slope, one by one cheese slope and uh, some one by two tile and a one by one tile or a one by three tile if you've got it for that section. And now all of this fits on here so that as eyes fill into those little sockets created by the corner things. And uh, that is all flush with the top. Okay, finishing off Batman's head with the spiky things on the top of his helmet and do a one by two to one by two bracket like this, two by two plate on front of that, and then some one by two curvy downward slopes. Um, make two of those, then connect them with a two by two tile. Then on one side, go down with a one by two, and a one by one tile, and do the mirror image on the other side, one by two, one by one. And now this fits onto those two studs on the top of the head. And those tiles kind of connects down to the groove that that panel created down below. There's a little bit of a seam in the mask, but otherwise I think it's a pretty good representation of Batman's head at this size. No, 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 Batman. Just a quick comparison. Here's another version of Batman's head I was working on, which uses eye tiles. Um, and this whole section here is built uh, facing forward, if that makes sense. It's all kind of like a studs not on top thing. Uh, so it was pretty complicated and it didn't look as good with the eye tile, so I abandoned it, but just quick look at that and you can also see what I was talking about here about making different mouth shapes so this is more of like a gritted teeth mouth than that which is just kind of a neutral mouth. Now let's build the front of Batman's torso. So I'm using these 2x4 wing plates in black so get a matching set of that put them around a 2x4 plate 
line up a 1x6 in black and then a 1x6 in yellow for the utility belt. Start connecting these things. We'll do some 2x2s two in yellow down here. Do a 1x2 tile in yellow. Building up, we're going to do some 1x2 tiles in black to connect that 2x4. And uh, here's a really key piece. This is a 2x4 tile with the Batman logo on it. It comes in a junior set, uh, which is the only time I've ever bought a junior set was to get this piece. Uh, but it's a perfect representation of the Batman logo for this size. Um, so use that. If not, um, there's other kind of Batman logo things that exist. This is a 2x2 tile. You could also try building something out of yellow. Uh, with a batarang to represent that. Um, but this piece is awesome. Now you can connect the wing plates. Some one by one black tiles down here. One by four across the top. Uh, this could have been a two by two tile, but I made it this way to kind of look like the lines of Batman's abs, which are, you know, outlined very clearly on all the minifigures and some yellow two by two tiles to kind of be those little pouches on his utility belt. Now we'll build the back of his torso, very similar construction. Again, a pair of these wing plates around a two by four plate, one by six, one by six, some two by twos in yellow down here, top those off with tiles, one by two tile in yellow. We'll do a two by two in black, connect up to here and some two by twos off to the side to bring in the wing plates and one by one tiles down there. Um, we're going to leave that top area blank for right now. We will connect a cape there later. These are the pieces you'll need to build one of Batman's arms. Um, actually, you'll use the pieces for both arms, so get double this many pieces, but I'm going to show you each arm one at a time since they're tricky to do mirrored. All right, start with one of these two by two plates with a toe ball piece. This is how we're gonna connect Batman's shoulders. Um, if you don't have this piece, I can show you a totally different way to connect the arms at the end, but for right now, we'll assume you do. Then a two by three plate here. Next up, we're gonna do a two by two plate two by three plate, sorry, those are one by two and one by three, then a two by two, like so, and then take some curvy downward slopes, hang off over this. Over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a Technic brick, one by two there. Cover that up with a one by two and a corner plate. Next level up, this will be another corner plate right on top. This will be a curvy downward slope, a cheese slope, and then curvy downward slopes on top of the remaining bumps here. So that's the uh, arm. It's really hard to get the exact angle of a minifigure arm um, recreated in Lego at a larger size because it's uh, not a 90 degree angle, but I usually just make it a 90 degree angle and kind of go with it. All right, now for the hand, take some one by two plates with handle and a jumper plate. That's gonna connect into that hole there. Then one by two plate with two clips, two curvy downward slopes, and make two of those for the claw hands. Connect on. So one side of the hand's a little bit longer than the other, but you can't really tell uh, most of the time when you're positioning it. I like it about there. Claw arm. <laughs> Okay, now to build the other arm. Again, gonna start with one of these two by two plates with a toe ball, then a two by three plate, then a one by three and a one by two and a two by two. Technic brick over here, 
corner plate, one by two, two curvy downward slopes hanging off the edge here. Another corner plate on top of the corner plate. Curvy downward slope along that side, cheese slope inside, then curvy downward slopes to cover it all up. Arm. Then for the hand, going to be the exact same as the other hand, two one by twos with handle, jumper plate, and then for the claw, one by two with two clips, two curvy downward slopes, make two of those and connect them. And then the jumper plate goes in the hole. So this allows you to um, twist the hand relative to the arm, just like a minifigure's hand would. Um, you have to hold the arm tightly while you do that or just take it out and totally reposition it. Um, but that's nice for having some posability. And now you've got two arms. Hello arm, hello, let's shake hands. Do, 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 do. I feel very flat right now. For the inner torso and legs, there's two wildly different techniques um, that I'm gonna show you. This one on the left here is a lot easier to build. It's a lot more straightforward techniques, um, but the legs uh, don't hold in position super well and the legs are kind of not exactly to the right scale there. You can see they're kind of tiny relative to the body above it. Uh, this one is a lot more complicated to build. It involves some technic pieces, but the legs hold really well in different positions and um, are a little bit better to scale. Um, so I'm gonna show you this technique first because it's easier and most of you would probably wanna go this way, um, but this one I'll show after that. So this torso is gonna start off with a two by six plate in black then a yellow one of those, which is the utility belt being carried through. Next layer, um, you're gonna want some headlight bricks. I've got this one by four. The color does not matter. It'll be totally covered up, um, but you could fill that in with any amount of headlight brick in that space if you just have a couple ones. Um, I just like to make it as connected as possible, so that's why I've got the four. Uh, one by two black bricks on the side. Now on each side, we're gonna take two jumper plates, a one by two plate, a one by two brick, and a one by two tile. Connect those, so build two of those, one on each side. In the center, I'm gonna take some two by two plates, color does not matter, which is why I'm using orange and green. Then some headlight bricks, color again doesn't matter. Um, so fill on both sides, so I've got a one by two and two one by ones. And a two by two plate of any color goes in the center. Uh, next level is gonna be two by four plate. Then we're gonna take some Mixel joint grabbers in light gray. If these came in black, I'd be using them. Unfortunately, Lego has only made this piece in light gray. Hear my cries, Lego, please make this piece in other colors. It's so useful, but Annoying to keep putting light gray in things that don't need light gray. Anyway, tangent over, two by four plate on the top, then a black jumper plate, and two one by two tiles. So now what we could do is we could take the arms, connect those into the mixel joint, take the front of the torso, connect it on to where we have all those nice connection points. Do the same on the back. And Batman's head fits nicely on the top if you center it. Yeah. I'm looking pretty awesome. Just need some legs. Legs, legs, give me some legs. Each leg will start off with two two by three plates on the bottom and a one by two tile then two two by two bricks. Then the next level up will be a Technic brick and a one by two brick. Do it this way for one leg and the opposite le way for the other leg. That's the only difference between the two legs. Then the top will do some cheese slopes. It's a double cheese slope, some single cheese slopes. So 
make two of those, one as a mirror image of the other. Then a Technic brick and a three long Technic pin. A one by two plate and a jumper plate. Connect those in like so. And then that jumper plate gets centered in the bottom of that two by six plate. So as you can see, the legs are slightly smaller than it would make sense for that Batman. You can see how there's kind of that extra edge hanging off uh, from above. These are based on the original three scale minifigure I did, Calmander. Um, I significantly modified the design from then to now to give more shaping to the torso. The legs are about the only thing that I kept, but even those I ended up deciding to replace, but this is an easy way to build legs uh, and the torso. And uh, Batman's ready to kick some robot butt or punch some robot. Um, there's also a cape and a batarang I'm gonna build for Batman, but first I'm gonna go backwards and show that other torso and leg build. Okay, to start off this torso, gonna need to find a Technic piece. I don't use a lot of Technic pieces. I don't know what the name for this would be called. Bricklink calls it like a lift arm, but it's not quite just a normal lift arm. I don't know. Lift arm, like this, two of those in black. And then combine them with a, what is that? It's a three long axle on top and a four long axle in the bottom like so. Then up top, we're gonna build a little thingy. So we'll take a two by two plate in black, two yellow jumper plates, and a two by two plate, then a one by two Technic brick with axle hole, one by two brick, a jumper plate, and a one by one tile. Build two of those exactly the same and flip one of them around. These are gonna go connected to that top axle bit there. So you can see this is where the utility built and all that is going to line up once we connect the torso front and back on. On top of this, we're gonna put some jumper plates in any color to fill in that level. Then we'll build some headlight bricks in any color in the center here. Some one by two bricks. Uh, headlight bricks will also go in these two slots. Those, they aren't connected to anything yet. Then build a two by four plate to connect all of that nice and tightly. And another two by four. Then we'll take these Mixel joint grabbers Two of those, you can fill in the center here with any color if you so desire. Two by four plate on top of that, then a two by two jumper and some one by two tiles in black to finish up the top of the torso. Some key pieces that you'll need for the legs are one of these um, ball joint grabbers. Um, I think this piece came in the constructible figure of Ray from The Force Awakens, um, but those constructible figures in general are a good place to look for these kind of pieces. Um, and then also this uh, ball joint that is um, open on both sides as opposed to being, you know, curved on one of those sides. And uh, some of these 2x2 two two with curvy part plates. All right, so. Start with a two by four plate, build that ball joint connector, one by two and one by three brick, one by one plate under there. Go ahead and connect the ball of the joint. Then take a two by two plate with the curvy part, two by three, one by one. Next level, two by two with a curvy bit, two by two, one by three. Cover the top up with tiles, so two by two curvy slope, then two by two, two by two, one by two. So that's for one of the legs. The other leg's gonna be slightly different, so let me show you how to do that. 
Okay, for the other foot, I'm going to start in a similar way with a 2x4. Connect the ball joint piece, 1x2 brick. Um, but then, in a twist, um, we're going to do a 1x3 plate and a 1x1 plate. The next level, I'm going to take a Technic brick. So this adds a hole to the bottom of the foot so that you can connect this to a Lego piece so that Batman has something to stand on. Otherwise, his feet are totally smooth. So you could do this on both feet if you want tie downs on each foot. Um, that's what we call them in animation terms, a tie down. But I just did it on one foot. Uh, one by one brick. Then two by two plate, two by two with curvy plate. To a corner plate, some one by two plates. That one didn't want to stay on. Another two by two curvy. Then a uh, layer of tiles. This time we're going to do two by two round and then one by fours and a one by one. And let's not forget to add in the ball of the ball joint. So now we've got both legs. We can connect those to the lower axle on our torso bit. And now we can reattach all the Batman parts like the head, the back of the torso, the front of the torso, and the arms. So yeah, you can see these legs um, match up with the Batman body a lot better in terms of uh, being proportional the way a minifigure's legs are to the body. Uh, since again, this is a giant minifigure Batman. Uh, the legs move forward into a seated position. There's a little bit of like in and out wiggle you can do with them. Um, not, you know, exactly like it would be on a minifigure, but fun. Uh, they can tilt back. You can even um, pose Batman on the legs when they're like apart if you balance him carefully. So yeah, I think this would be really great if you're trying to build just like a giant minifigure, not necessarily Batman. This version of the legs, this rig is very stable in case you wanted to do it uh, in posed in a lot of ways, maybe for an animation. Uh, very stable legs. Okay, now let's finish this Batman off by giving him a cape and a batarang. Okay, so let's start by building the center of the cape here. Start with a four by six plate, then do a two by four plate, some one by two with handles. Then we're gonna take some one by twos with a handle on the end and some one by one plate with clip on the top. Four of those, build all of those right here. Then we're gonna take uh, some of these little wing pieces, two by three wing pieces, a pair, but have them going opposite. Then a four by six plate. Um, and then these uh, tiles are just kind of for show. They add a little bit of stability, but they're not vital. You could add more tiles depending on what you want to do. So that's the center of the cape. So this is for one side of the cape. I'm going to get some two by three wing pieces, a um, non-pair, so two going in the same direction here. Uh, and we'll need the other two for the other side of the cape. Uh, then a big wing, six by three, a one by six plate. All of that together. I'm going to use a two by four plate to connect these wings, this and this. Flip this over. Two by three up here for stability. Two by two here. One by two with two clips into that uh, little recess there. Uh, and then again, this is 
just totally optional, but if you want, you can put a Nexonite black shield piece. Uh, this came in the mini Batwing set, uh, which they were giving away in LEGO stores, uh, just to add a little additional stability and flair. For the other side, we're gonna do it in reverse with the opposite wing pieces, two by three, three by six. Put them on a two by four, connect that one by six, wingy, wingy, flip it over, two by three here, two by two there, one by two with two clips here, and Nexo Night Shield just for fun. Now that we've got all of those pieces, you can connect the clips to the handles. Um, so the cape could be just flat like that, but you can also twist it in like this, which I thought made it look a little bit more like it's made out of fabric rather than Lego. Now you can finally attach it to that 1x4 area we left blank so long ago. Um, line those one by one plates with clip up. And because the cape is made out of Lego, it is much heavier, so Batman's prone to fall back, so be careful. Uh, but once you've got it on, you can twist it down. I like it usually about there, kind of hugging to his back a little bit. And if you make him lean forward just a little bit, he'll be able to continue to stand. But uh, yeah, now he's got a Lego cape for solving crimes and stuff. Last but not least, let's build Batman a Batarang. So take a Technic pin, two cylinder bricks, then some one by one plates with clip on the top. And these wings, which I got in the Lego Junior set that I stole that two by four tile from, um, they also show up in different things. Nexo Knights, I think, uh, maybe Ninjago and Chima, these little tiny wings. Uh, I like one like this and one like that for the Batarang, which I know does not look exactly how it is, but once you put it in Batman's hand, it kind of looks correct. Um, if you don't have those wings, these are the uh, dragon wing that have existed for a long time. I don't know how much they're still around these days, but they're what always I th think of when I think of Lego wings. Batarang. So yeah, now Batman has his Batarang. Uh, you wanna close the hand around the Batarang so he holds onto it uh, as tight as possible. But yeah, fully equipped. Uh, his head can twist 360 degrees. Uh, his arms can kind of flap like a chicken. They don't move like minifigure arms do, but I like the way um, they connected firmly with those mixel joints. Um, and you can get some fun poses, like he can wave his hands in the air. Yay! And put like a hand on his hip and point dramatically. Da 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 da. His cape can flutter in the breeze if you uh, want. And of course, his legs can position pretty much just like Lego legs. They bend back a little bit further, but uh, can get a lot of, <laughs> you can also knock his head off. Uh, you can get a lot of dynamic posing uh, with this figure, uh, very similar to what you could get with an actual minifigure. Uh, I'm really pleased with this giant three times size minifigure Lego Batman. Um, and before I go, just let me show you one quick thing of another way to do the arms. Okay, so uh, if we take apart the torso again, uh, I'm gonna take off this section up here, I'm gonna replace it with some headlight bricks facing to the side here, and a uh, jumper plate. And you do the same on the other side, but I'm not gonna show that right now, and then I'm gonna dismantle this arm a little bit and uh, place it with uh, two two by two round plates and connect that to the jumper plate. So if you do that and then connect uh, 
front of the torso again, you can see the arm will be able to twist very carefully, uh, kind of like a minifigure arm does, but it was really hard to move this uh, using this type of connection. Um, and the arm kept like bumping into the side of the torso there. So that's why I switched to the mixles joint. But if you want a like more accurate type of uh, connection, you could do something like this instead. It's very loud. Do 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 do. Thanks for watching my video. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to Brick101, and check out all my other LEGO superhero videos.